Hello all, welcome back to New Hope Tarot, where we will be doing your reading for May 26. I have meditated upon the cards and I have pre-shuffled. As always though, I will shuffle live. During meditation, Spirit showed me two things. Um, I love you in sign language and a deer. Um, the deer to me represents elegance and royalty. But they're also really great listeners. The biggest word that came to me was sensitive. So that that was literally the the word that jumped out at me. Sensitive. Um, so either a few things are coming to me. Either there is something that you love but you don't want to be vocal about uh, because it showed to me in sign language this could be you know a job that you love this could be a person that you love um a career it take it out or, or a, a house right uh, an apartment whatever it is but maybe you don't want to be vocal about it because you don't want to jinx it or maybe you're just too shy, if it's in regards to a person, maybe you're just too shy um, to be vocal about it. It could be about a job that you just don't want to be vocal about it because, you know, maybe people think it's far out of your reach. All right, the deer here is, the deer is here to symbolize that it isn't out of your reach. Um... Approach things gently. Have your ears open. Listen. But also step into your... The grace that you have. You know, your gentle ability to approach something um, with grace. Because it's definitely worth having. Okay? Alright, your cards are... Three popped out. Present, stretch, and receive. And pardon me, I'm drinking some tea. It's really early in the morning. So let's take a look at these cards. You know, the card present was the first one to, to pop out individually. And then the other two popped out face down. But together... So I'm going to read these out. Uh, present reads, may you sense each shiver of the surf. Stretch reads, may you extend your reach and receive. Reads, may you know you are worthy of the gift. Exactly what I was talking about with the I love you and the dear. Present to me reads, feel what you're feeling. Sense it just like a deer listens really, really well, and they sense that that's around them before they even see it because they're really open to listening. Uh, maybe this is talking about listening to yourself, listening to your higher self, listening to um, the universe. Either way, listen, be open, be present. Feel it out. Stretch and receive is really talking about extending out towards that which you want so that you're able to receive it. You can't get something if you don't go after it. If you never, if you never are vocal about something or in, maybe you don't want to be vocal about it towards other people, but at least be vocal about it towards yourself. This is saying, recognize that this is something that you're wanting, regardless of what it is. Recognize that this is what you want and claim it. All right. As a matter of fact, it, on, the, um, on the comments, right? Claim it. Whatever it is you're wanting to claim, claim it. Okay. Because it can be yours. Just approach it with elegance gentleness. All right, we have the two of wands, the chariot. 
the King of Wands and King of Swords. Okay. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. To me, the Two of Swords here is... Two of Swords. Two of Wands here is talking about you deciding where you want to go. Is this something that you want? You know, and I feel like it's something that you do want. This person on this Two of Wands is looking towards... I mean, there's two wands, one to each side of him, but he's actually only holding on to one wand with the uh, globe, the world, in his other hand. This person already knows which direction they want to take. Still, they're in the, in the process of considering what path they're going to take, but it, the path is really clear. The path is really clear. You really do already know. But somehow you're still stuck in your mind um, with the lies and the uh, uh, that, you know, maybe you're not worth it. You know, that you're not good enough, whatever. Or maybe you just don't, again, maybe you just don't want to be vocal about it because maybe you think that somebody's going to talk down about it, me, uh, uh, around this particular situation. But the reality is, is that if you choose to move towards this, it's yours. It's yours. You just have to choose to go that particular path. You have to own these words, all right? You have to own these, um, whatever it is, you have to own it, right? Own your ideas, own your thoughts and go towards it all right um we have the high priestess the four of pentacles death card and seven of cups in reverse normally i don't take the reversals on the bottom section but as i was about to flip it spirit said no we want it in reverse said, okay okie dokie spirit knows what they're doing to me Right now, with this High Priestess, Four of Pentacles, Death, and Seven of Cups in reverse, this is saying, stay in your wisdom. You know that you have to um, keep whatever it is a secret right now. And that's okay. Um, if you don't want to, like I said, like this, I love you. You're not being vocal about it. You know it. You feel it, but you're not being vocal. This is saying it is wise for you to do that. It is wise for you not to share this information um, to just anybody. I mean, of course, to you know somebody close to you that you love and trust and you know that is going to support you, that's something different. Be honest with yourself. Be in touch with your inner spirit like this present card. And the deer, be sensitive enough to know the truth, but also keep it hidden from others. This four of pentacles to me is talking about protection. Protect what is yours. Protect your own stability so that whatever it is you are wanting for you to be able to secure it, allow something, allow these old thoughts and ideas to die out that you're not worthy of it so that this new change is able to occur and also so that you're able to um, clear out any confusion that you might have all right I actually really 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 like this this is so good I really really really, really like this all right, we have a fox spirit. Think on your feet. What I'm getting with this fox spirit is there is, you have a vision for how you want your life to be. And I feel like you're going to be able to obtain it because you have your 
eyes really focused. You are really focused on something that you're wanting. But it isn't enough here just to focus. You have to take action. That's re really what I'm getting here from the fox spirit. Take action. When you see an opportunity, make it happen. You have the king of cups, the fountain, and judgment. We have a lot of kings. We have the king of wands, the king of swords, and the king of cups. I love, love the fact that you have such a strong energy right now. This is you coming into your own power. But once you really do step into your true power of acknowledging what's going on and going after what it is you want gently, right? I'm not saying be assertive or aggressive, but be clear-minded and then going for it. You, you really come into your energy. And male or female, uh, this is not gender-specific. Um, this is really about... Once you go into that, you come into your energy and you're completely emotionally fulfilled. You are 100% satisfied with your outcome and it gives you that, that constant regeneration. Um, re, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That constant cycle of love and fulfillment, whatever it is that you're looking for. You're, you're thoroughly fulfilled and everything works out in your favor. We have judgment card at the very, very end. I don't feel like you're going to be, okay, so that's not true. I was going to say, I don't feel like you're going to be judged, but here's the thing. I do feel like you will be judged by others. I don't feel like you will be judged by yourself. I feel like karma is, or, or like the universe is paying you back for all the good karma that you've done and you're going to be gifted this, but you have to step into your energy. But I feel like others are going to be like, what, what did so-and-so do to get this? I don't understand. It's almost like they're confused and as to why you got something that you got when you seem so uh, gentle. Others are going to be like, oh, I understand. So-and-so got this because, you know, they're very great and, and, and very postured and very, like a very good listener. So maybe that's why they got it. But I, I feel like they're confused as to, like some people are going to be confused as to why you got it. And other, be, other people are going to be like, oh, I understand why they got it. Does that make sense? Um, either way, I, I love this for you because it doesn't matter what other people think. The point is, is that you're going to feel like you've earned this and rightfully so, because I feel like you've gone through a lot to get through this. You've all gone through some transformations in order to get through this and you're no longer in your meekness. Um, but there's also some, a sense of protection around you where like you feel like you have to protect your energies. And I feel like whatever position this is that you're being called to do, whatever person you're with, whatever it is, I feel like this is a wise choice. All right, my dear ones, that's what I have for you for May 26th. I hope this did resonate. If it did, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Until we meet again, bye.